Tower House Skyline. Thank you for being here. You hardly saw this. This is a very important event, and as Pete pointed out, it's important to keep it going. This is a treaty with the first president of the United States to keep his word and to keep the nation honest and moving forward. These are perilous times. Things are changing as we sit here and they will continue to change. And they will continue to deteriorate as the world is moving in the direction of commerce. The instructions that we received in the beginning, which was to do a good life and to honor all of the lives as we heard our elder here speak this morning and he opened us up and he, he gave thanks to everything that supports us. Just an amazing change in a short period of time. And what has happened, as I see, is that each generation seems to know less than the other. We're losing our traction. We're, we're being overrun by population. We don't have time to teach the children. They're coming so fast. And each of us have a responsibility. The peacemaker brought us together here maybe 1,600 years ago. He said to work for the seventh generation. And he was talking about the full lifetime of a person seven times. He said, look to their future, love them, work for them. And so these children, as we see here, very much our responsibility today and we must put aside all of our differences now absolutely put them aside for the common cause of future life we don't have a lot of time we are approaching a point of no return where if we don't change the direction that we're doing we'll sentence these young children to a hard, hard finish. So we're responsible. We're adults. We take that responsibility. And so we're all people. We come in the same, all different colors and sizes. But we are family. We're related to one another in the four corners of the earth. And so on behalf of the generations coming, we must take this opportunity to clear our minds, put aside the idea of commerce, and talk about the real values of life. The number one value to share. Share what you have. Share for the future. Share, and we used to do this, you know. But somehow or other, our brothers have changed that. Now you have to buy a share. How'd they do that? That's a flip. <laughs> you buy a share. No, actually, it is your share, what you have. So that we have the opportunity to keep our responsibility to future generations. I'm uh, very very pleased to see the hardy souls that have shown up here. And you who are standing out there in the rain, and as Pete explained, the rain is a blessing. Rain is always a blessing. I, uh, I commend you for, for gathering here <laughs> and reminding your leaders and your government and speak to them, speak to the president and say, Let's get back to the origins of our relationship, which is this great peace 
Very few people know that George Washington, the first president of the United States, made Walter Belt. I don't know that. But the reason why he did was because the relationship that was going on at the time was that much serious. Everybody knew. They knew how to make belts. They did make belts for hundreds of years. So we have to get back to what's in those belts, which are promises, which are promises to the future. And you hardy souls that are, speak to your leaders. Don't be afraid. Now is the time to gather. We are in a serious, serious time. And remember, experiment. When she came here in 1775, and said to us in the Treaty at Albany, you advised us in 1744 to make a union like ours. And you came to us in 1775, the Continental Congress, on the eve of your revolution, and you said to our leaders in Albany, we are now taking your advice. We're going to make a union like yours. That's not maybe, that's not vague, that's very, very deliberate. A treaty was made. Many days, it took three or four months to get it together. And so here we are, we're the result of that agreement. And here, commemorating the 1794 treaty with the first president of the United States and our leaders who have been here for thousands and thousands of years. It's important, it's probably singular in the history of this world. So I advise you and I ask you to support and remember that. Talk to your leaders, these are them. Say again, we're serious times. And we have to change our direction. The value change. Change our values. The values of life. Corn, beans, and squash. That's very important. And I can really eat money. Corn, beans, and squash. With well, those words, and on behalf of my fellow leaders here, I, uh, I give you my congratulations for coming here today. Thank you so much. God, thank you.